welcome i want to speak about investments investments we all invest in something guys in life we are investing someone is investing something you know do you know the reason why we take our children to school is to invest so they can have a career that can yield many times more do you know why we invest we invest to have more reward more returns you put in ten dollars you expect a hundred dollars investments guys who does not invest even farmers they invest they think what what is the next product what is the product that the market needs i think there there won't be vegetables like cabbages let me do the cabbages so i can make more money if you used like ten thousand as your cost in in vegetables you expect to sell a hundred thousand to yield ten times fold we are all investing hum humanity human beings are always investing in something you are investing in something so i wanted to give you an amazing investment that you can do guys the bible says that there is a man who found that he a piece of land he found that there there were there were there were precious metals in that land you know what he did he went and sold everything else just to invest in that land because he knew that there are pearls there there are precious stones guys we need to invest in this eternal pearl that is jesus christ jesus christ is a hidden treasure it's an eternal eternal treasure that's why we have invested everything in the lord we have invested our lives in jesus christ we have invested our minds our strength our energy our everything we have invested in jesus christ you know why we found out that he is a eternal treasure that's why you see some of us you know people think we are crazy we are not crazy it's only that we found the true investments just as we keep our money in the banks, just as we invest in our career, I go to work every day, I come to preach. Even this is an investment. I'm investing that a soul will be saved. That my soul, your soul will be saved. That's why we preach the gospel as an evangelist. Everything is an investment. But the greatest investment you will ever make is an eternal investment. Jesus Christ and his gospel. The gospel is free. The gospel of forgiveness. The gospel of grace that God can forgive you. God can remove all the sin and the stigma of, of your sin. You know what he says in the book of Isaiah? Come, reason with me. Even though your sins are as red as crimson, as red as a scarlet, I'll make you as white as snow. And the reason I came here is just to show you how white snow is. Guys, that's how white snow is. God wants you to make as white as that. Your sins may be as dark, but he'll make you as white as snow. That's why I came to, 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 to give this little encouragement to people in sermon. This sermon that invest in the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God is free. He'll make you buy without money. He'll make you give you freebies, grace, without you earning it. You don't, you, but you need to give in. You need to invest. You need to invest yourself body mind soul spirit in god and that's the greatest commandment to love god with all you have with your, with your body with your mind with your, with your soul with your spirit that's how you love god that's the first commandment then you love man as you love yourself so loving god is loving jesus christ it is loving his message his message is simple jesus christ came into the world to save the sinners for free all you need to do is to follow him pick up the cross deny yourself deny yourself of the things you want most of the time you want the wrong things we feel the wrong things denying yourself is just dying to your own self and living for christ invest in this eternal pearl you will never be confounded in this life and the life to come you will never regret it now and forever come to jesus come to jesus He'll deliver you of depression. Depression. If you, Now I, I hear the Spirit of God with, with many of us who are ministers. We're talking about depression. Everyone, most of the people, a large percentage of the, of, the, of the population is depressed. Depression. Suicide. Do you see people committing suicide left, right, center? Because depression, loneliness, anxiety has gripped people. Why? Because we have gone our own way. We have gone our own imagination. We are imagining things. We are trying to find a reality of life outside God. There is no reality of life. 
without God because he made it. He gave you the life. He gave you the mind. He gave you the breath, breath of life. He, give us, he gives us the sun, the moon, the stars, everything. God has given us to life. The reality of life is in God. Trying to create an, alter, an uh, alternative reality is madness. It's craziness. That's why depression, loneliness, come to the creator, Jesus Christ. He will save you, deliver you, and run away from your own imagination, which is in concert with the devil. Invest all that you have in Jesus Christ. The yield is unbelievable. It's like investing one dollar and getting gazillions, trillion, 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 gazillion dollars. This investment has no, it's, it's unquantifiable. Investing in Jesus Christ. That's why we sell everything and invest. The returns we're going to yield is eternal life. Eternal life has no value that we can assign it in dollar terms. This investment is crazy. Invest in Jesus Christ. Just as you invest here on earth, we're investing our money, investing our time in agriculture, in business, which is good. We have to do that in education. We have to invest. But have you invested in your spirit, spiritually? Physically, keep investing, guys. That's very good. Don't be lazy. Get a lot of money. Multiply. Multiply your cars. Multiply your fleet. Multiply your agriculture. Good. That's an earthly investment. It's amazing. And good for and lay up for your children, 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 children. But for your spirit, you need to invest in Christ Jesus. And the yield is eternal life. I leave you with that. Coming to Jesus is very simple. Just pray like this. Master Jesus Christ, I come unto you. I give my life, my soul, my spirit unto you. You are my Lord, my God, and my Savior. I repent of all my sins. Forgive me. Be my Lord. I deny myself and I will follow you. Amen. If you pray that prayer, go look for a pastor and get baptized and live for God. Thank you. God bless you.